Hey guys, welcome back to AMP2. This is the anatomy of a challenge video for New Zealand. Again, in Cedic Blank Tester and Kazong hey, here. Yeah, so we're gonna be checking this line out. This is the Pro 2 challenge uh, versus Tora Bright. And uh, I don't know, it just kinda, you know the drill by this point. You know the drill. What's the drill? Kinda get my ass handed to me. Yeah. Kind of wind up crying. So, I'd like to play a game in this video. Kazong, is it okay if we kind of like. Oh, well, not really a game, but really a. Well, I'm not really explaining this all that well. <laughs> Basically, I'm going to. I'm going to do WWKD What Would Kazong Do? Oh yeah. gosh. Alright, so coming up, the first real issue with this challenge is tricks two and three. The second one is a jump off of a hut, and the third one is kind of just a jump off a small slope. I don't feel like I can do both of those. I feel like it needs to be one or the other. Like, you see, I get a good second jump and... In, your, uh, <clears throat> in the main episode, you said jump off that hut. If you, said, you said, I think, if you jump off the hut later, you'll get more air. Wasn't that what you said? Uh, no. no. I didn't make a comment on the hut. Oh, okay. Uh, no, it was the very first hut in the, like, at the very, oh, very right, top right. of the mountain. So, yeah. what would Kazong do? Kazong, do you, do you remember at all, like, kind of how you do it so you get both of them? Or can you get both of them, or do you have to do one or the other? Um, let's see. Normally I try to get both. Uh, I think I do try and go off a little bit slower, that way I have a little bit more uh, run-up time to the, uh, to that second jump. Mm. Okay. Don't mm. jump quite as far. So. so what's the point requirement on that on that uh, trick two? Trick two is gonna be uh, more once I get past the red, I think. Yeah. I mean, it, it you know it expects you to combo. You know, even the pro grinds mm. before the jump. Um, yeah. So let's see. In amp two, you don't get the point requirements until the pro does the trick. Right. So we're waiting, 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 sticking our thumbs up our ass, 13,000. Which is certainly reachable, but not with enough time to then do this third one. At least for me. And also, so this is one of those challenges that isn't going to take that many attempts, but it's still going to take a while. Because the other, and probably the harder part, the weirder part, is right at the end. The last two challenges. Um... We know, obviously, you have to pass the last challenge to pass the thing, and the last two jumps are kind of so that you jump and then you land in this area that's, you know, all white, all bright white with the snow, and then you've got, you know, all the effects of, you know, the jump, like the green and the purple rings going, and you really have a hard time seeing where the, where the last jump is, and then it's not a very big jump. You kind of have to do like a rodeo something to get the points. Um, and so when we get there, I'll kind of ask another WWKD, because I remember in my successful one, I just ignored the second to last jump. So the two I miss here in this run are two I intentionally miss. Yeah. 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 Did you find that intentionally missing things was something that you, uh, you did, Kamal? Uh... I tried not to, actually. I did try not to do that. Um, I think there was a few times during the game, it's just in general, that I did have to do that. I, but I but, mean, like, do you, do you think the game was designed with that in mind, or do you think that was no. a... No. I, act, I actually don't. Because mm. there were some challenges, and again, I, I only ever watched... Uh, Incetic play, but there were some challenges that I thought it kind of str seemed like that's what they intended you to do, and that's uh, that's not good design in my opinion. Mm. You know, yeah. <sighs> like I mean, I don't know. Like to me, it's like, and I'm not saying necessarily that the game definitely did did this, but in general, if a game dev intends you to get through a certain part by you know, kind of exploiting the systems or cheesing it or whatever, you know, I don't really like it when game devs do that. Like, I think when they're making something, it should always be doable by an average player pushing themselves, 
rather than like just the really good players or just the people you know exploiting the way the mechanics of the game work yeah so yeah. i admit on that second jump i always do kind of charge ahead you know you could slow down get more rail time and maybe then still have enough air time to do something but you know intentionally slowing down isn't really something that comes to your mind easily you know in these types of games yeah usually usually you know more speed is is a good thing yeah you know you've got you've got the feeling that it should be designed to where you can just go down it and do it especially since there is no variations in speed in this game you're the same speed now as you were at the start yeah so okay i've i've had some unfortunate attempts getting to the last part but once we do get to the last part i do want you guys to kind of pay attention and see how i don't know kind of just like slammed with colors you are going into that last jump <laughs> yeah that especially would be, that you, would be really a lighting issue then. especially if you try to take the uh, second to last it only came to my mind like right now that if I'm intentionally skipping that one, I could just not go up the cliff in the first place, and I could basically just head in a straight line to the last jump and probably make that easier. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, it's a lot. You know, hindsight is a lot easier to do than beating the challenges. Yeah. Dude, that um. Was sick. Mm. Well, I might as well ask this now, and maybe we can continue this discussion in another video if we get cut off. Um, <clears throat> okay. I wanted to ask both of you what you guys think about uh, optional uh, optional uh, content, and would you consider these pro challenges and the hey, events and stuff, like, would, would you consider any or all of those things as quote-unquote optional stuff? And how do you feel about games including optional stuff, and how hard should that optional stuff be? And I don't mean that just for this game, I mean in general in extreme sports games. I mean, what do you think? Um, I guess I'll answer first. Um, I, I kind of could, like, Pro 2 is kind of on the line between optional and not optional. You do have to hit a certain rank by the end to, uh get to the last event and I get pretty close to that I, I mean like I get it but I get pretty close to not doing it I like I, I get to that rank with maybe three challenges left on the last level mm -hmm. uh, which means I could have skipped two or three challenges in the whole game leading up to that point and I mean I'm skipping every pro three I'm skipping every gap I'm skipping every uh, snowman explore challenge oh, so mm -hmm. um which means I'm basically already skipping as much as I can. On, so, so basically the Pro 3s would be considered optional. Yeah. Uh, they were optional back in Amped 1, but I just forced myself through them, you know, anyways. Right. But I'm not doing them this time. <laughs> um, I mean, I mean, they, well, if you wanted rank 1, they weren't, but right. I didn't care enough. Um, I, I, I feel like... I feel like your sentence, Man, uh, awesome. optional content in general in extreme sports games is kind of, uh, uh, kind of that thing like Jumbo Shrimp, you know, where, you know, you say in general and then limit it to a very specific style of game. Well, I'm saying in general in the field of extreme sports games. I mean, yeah, I'm not talking about RPGs because nobody watches your videos for RPG content. Yeah. You know, and, I uh, mean, in extreme <laughs> sports games... Uh, especially in extreme sports games, the optional content uh, has a very wide variety of different kinds of content. So it might be extra challenges, it might just be collectibles, it might be uh, stuff that's really hard, you know? And I'm, I want to know, what do you guys think about how hard it should be, and what do you think about being required to do it? To get further in the game, which would be not very optional content, you know? I mean, if there's, like, a story yeah. mode and you have to do side quests to get through the story mode, you know, mm -hmm. then that's not really optional, you yeah. know? Yeah. But I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of curious to th see what you guys think about that. I don't Maybe really... think about it and then, yeah. get, you know, in the next Maybe. video we can talk about it. Because I don't really have a good answer at the moment, you know, kind of... 
extreme sports games aren't known for the developers lovingly putting all these tons of extra things into them. They're kind of just collections of levels and goals, you know? Yeah. I mean, the, you know, the Apt series definitely has some thought put into it, but again, I'd rather save this for another video rather than have, like, a 18-minute video with nine minutes of gameplay. Yeah. Yeah, agreed. So we could talk about that next level, which is Millicent. Um, so yep. see us then.